Tonight, Sweet 16 for Collingwood. The Pies claim the Premiership in a cliffhanger. So close, the Brave Lions left shattered, falling short by four points. Pre-game rev up, a world-class act for footy's biggest day. Perth fans pack pubs and venues across the suburbs to... Live from Perth, 7 News with Tim McMillan. Good evening. Collingwood is celebrating tonight. They're back on top of the footy world. The Pies claim their 16th Premiership flag in a blockbuster grand final. Ryan Daniels is there and Ryan, it went right down to the wire. Tim, an instant classic, a game fit for the occasion. The Lions were brave, the Pies were just a little bit better. It was a game that had it all. Ten lead changes. Collingwood ended up getting their 16th flag, equaling Carlton and Essendon for the most in AFL history. Tonight, the Magpie Army is basking in the glory and the players, they're soaking it all in. In fact, right now, you can actually see them out in the middle of the MCG, just the 23 players who played today, soaking in what is a beautiful moment. The Premiership Cup is in the middle. They have been in that circle for about 15 minutes, just taking one last chance to be together uh, on what was a fantastic day, claiming their 16th flag. Now, Bobby Hill, a young West Aussie, he stood tall on the biggest stage. He's from Northam, of course, young Bobby, the electrifying forward who just was absolutely brilliant today. He kicked four goals on his way to a Norm Smith medal. Rory Campbell begins our coverage. How sweet it is! Collingwood win the grand final! Side by side, they hoisted their prize. Family dynasties cemented, Nick and Josh Dacos emulating Father Peter, Peter Moore presenting the cup to his son Darcy. It was fun to play, I'm sure it was fun to watch, but we all said at half time, Jesus, what an incredible game it is. Even without tickets, they came from far and wide, hoping to be part of the mighty Magpie Army. Hollywood! Hollywood! They unloaded in their droves. Lions fans outnumbered. Go Lions! But confident they weren't outwitted. There's one brain cell between them all, so you, you can't be worried. Have a look at this, boys. The Collingwood team bus arriving. Brisbane gear donned at your peril. <laughs> Plenty of respect was given to the retiring class of 2023. Luke Shuey, Shannon Hearn, Nick Natanui and Jack Redden among them. The late Ron Barassi inspired Mike Brady to add new lyrics to his footy classic. On a stage where legends are born, rock gods couldn't be more fitting. This making their mark on the MCG. Crowd loving the hits that came with a flame filled smoke show. A band that's been strutting their stuff for 50 years, offering something for every generation. Collingwood looked ready to do exactly that before the game even began. The Lions' den, all business, Brisbane ready to box on. Darcy Moore couldn't contain his excitement. He looks like he wants to eat the moment. The Pies skipper lapping up every moment. The prize in sight, all in readiness. One last message and hostilities were underway. The Dacos name back on the grand final stage. Never in doubt. A warm Melbourne day made for a heated opening. Hot pies means quick goals. Collingwood have got the first two. It's the one percenters that add up to a premiership. Straight up brilliance helps as well, and so does a bit of divine intervention. He breaks loose. Miracle goal. What a goal from Bailey. That'll fire him up. Look at it explode. Keeping his calm, Ian Bobby Hill. The boy from Northam played a grand final for the ages. And he has boxed it. Reaching for the stars. The sun, Hill! What a grab, looking straight into the sun. And terrorising the Lions at ground level. Got it, saw it right, came back 
for the left, and Hills kick four. One more than Brisbane's Charlie Cameron. Still keeps his feet and kicks a goal. The Lions are in front. Over the course of the game, the lead changed ten times. To go, he's kicked the goal and put Collingwood back in front. With just four and a half minutes left, Steel side bottom Steel made it a ten-point margin. Brisbane came again, they refused to give in. Four points short when it mattered, the closest grand final in 13 years. Lion lament, magpie magnificence. Chris Judd presenting best on ground. The winner of the 2023 Norm Smith medal is Bobby Hill. A heartwarming revelation coming from coach Craig McRae on the podium. Today was already the best day of my life because my wife gave birth to a little girl this morning at 7.45. A record equaling 16th Premiership, Collingwood's forever. <laughs> Rory Campbell, 7 News. So the Cup is back in black and white hands with the biggest supporter base in the country. This is a Premiership party that will not be contained. The passion around this grand final was intense. It was deafening at times inside the MCG, inside and outside. Back in Perth, it was just the same. Pubs and venues across the suburbs were packed with supporters. Letitia Wallace was there. Welcome to WA Magpies Heartland. Magpies! I love it. As they say, side by side we stick together uh, and uh, that's something that really, really resonated with me coming to Australia. They swooped in early. Very, very, very nervous at the moment. Very, but, yeah. uh, we got here at 9.30 this morning in line, so we're passionate, passionate supporters, first in best dress. Going all out from head to toe. The black and white army in full force and full flight. WM Magpies are the biggest interstate supporter group in Australia. Former Pies forward and West Aussie Chris Main reliving the memories and nerves of grand final day. When you get to, I suppose, live this moment right now with the boys that you played with, um, you know, to see what they're doing on the big day, um, I'm really proud of what they're about to achieve. The Lions may have been outnumbered, but they made up for it in passion. <laughs> Playing so well, we've got such a young team, they're really quick. Heartbreaking last time in grand final, but like, uh, I reckon we'll get them. My dad goes with the Lions and he's from Queensland. Kind of forced me to, but I like it. Anyone but Collingwood. <laughs> the rivalry was real between this group of friends. And go the Lions, yeah. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. <laughs> from the city <laughs> to the suburbs. Pubs across Perth were packed. Go the pies! <laughs> Roommates Megan and Nikki transformed their Seville Grove home into a pies palace. Go pies! I've got a tattoo for them. <laughs> I just love the pies. And they have no plans of taking it down anytime soon. A month at least. <laughs> the last time Collingwood played in the grand final was in 2018 against the West Coast Eagles. We all know what happened that day. These Pies fans are praying there's no dog sheet moment today. It was a nail biter to the very end. Collingwood fans erupting as the final siren rang. Latisha Wallace, 7 News. It was a heart stopper from the very first bounce, but at the end it was Collingwood with a sweet 16th Premiership. Tonight across the country, fans will be celebrating. Tim, there's no grey area anymore in Australia, just black and white. I'll be back from the MCG with sport later on. I'm sure they'll let us know all about it. Thank you, Ryan. Welcome back to the MCG, where Collingwood has claimed the AFL Premiership in an epic grand final, edging Brisbane by just four points. The Magpies led at every break, but there were ten lead changes in the game, and the Lions kept coming right till the very end. West Aussie Bobby Hill kicked a career-high four goals for Collingwood and was awarded the Norm Smith Medal for his best-on-ground performance. Anna Hay reports. Premiership Sweet 16 for the Magpie Army. Collingwood win the grand A team so used to grand final disappointment, what a way to wipe away the pain.
game, the Lions were gearing up for their biggest fight in almost two decades. The Pies had a different approach, Darcy Moore at peace, going to war. The first goal came from the man with the story of the season, ready to write a fitting final chapter. Never in doubt. West Aussie Bobby Hill piled on more early pain. Collingwood have got the first two. Brisbane looked overawed by the enormity of the occasion. Zach Bailey settled the nerves, giving the Lions their first, his second, one for the ages. He breaks loose. Miracle goal. What a goal from Bailey. That'll fire him up. Look at it explode. A physical opening term, Charlie Cameron forced to go shirtless. Collingwood missing more than clothing. They were down a crucial key defender. He's in trouble. Nathan Murphy subbed out with concussion, heartbreak on the bench. His day over just 10 minutes after it started. The Pies with a 10-point lead after the quarter-time siren. And it's going to be a big-time moment. Jordy Ngoi from downtown. Charlie Cameron didn't touch the ball in the first. He wasn't going to waste a second more. It was fast-moving, exciting footy. Hell! What a grab, looking straight into the sun. Wow, look at that for a Hill's hoist. Hill, the new Pies poster boy. Bobby Hill for number three. He had a career-high four goals by half-time. Saw it right, came back on the left, and Hill's kicked four. Six lead changes and six points the difference at the main break. The holy grail anyone's for the taking. It was a tense third term as the goal scoring flood slowed to a trickle. Goal Brisbane! A selfless hill set up the former captain. Scott Pendlebury had never kicked a goal in his five grand finals. He's jammed at home and the black and white rises one. With five and a half minutes to go. Charlie Cameron just couldn't trap it. Still keeps his feet and kicks a goal. The Lions are in front. But big game players step up in big moments. To go, he's kicked the goal and put Collingwood back in front. A 50 metre penalty puts Steel side bottom within range. Steel side bottom. But as Hugh McCluggage tiptoed the line, Brisbane Center had one last McCluggage. chance. Danaher plays on and kicks a goal. With a minute 20 on the clock, Lockie Neal was legged, unaware the lines played on. That is ridiculous. They didn't even know it was their free kick. The Pies held their nerve to win 90 to 86, the closest grand final in 13 years. Collingwood's three finals wins coming by a combined 12 points. It was fun to play. I'm sure it was fun to watch, but we all said at half-time, Jesus, what an incredible game it is. A moment to cherish for Peter Moore with his son Darcy, a family affair for the Dacos household too. I know we've dreamed about for so long. Norm Smith medalist Bobby Hill, cancer survivor, now grand final hero. Up the play! Anna Hay, 7 News. Yes, Bobby Hill, what a story. He revealed after receiving the Norm Smith medal he'd been watching Cyril Rioli highlights all morning for inspiration. Just six months after recovering from testicular cancer, Hill was unanimously voted as the best player in the 2023 grand final. Here's Barra. After one of the great grand finals, there were many storylines. Peter Moore and Darcy Moore. Premiership captain and his dad who won two Brownlows but zero premierships from five grand finals. The Dacos dynasty, who could believe both Peter's sons would add to their dad's 1990 premiership. And with the ecstasy, the agony for Taylor Adams. He deserved a medallion, but he won't be getting one. And then there's WA's Bobby Hill and his journey. It'll go down in Collingwood folklore. The winner of the 2023 Norm Smith medal is Bobby Hill. To the Collingwood uh, faithful, love you guys and uh, up the boy. The boy from Northam in the Perth Footy Club, Ian Hill Jr, or Bobby as he became known, beat testicular cancer last year to rise to the very top of the AFL. Has nailed it. 
Collingwood have got the first two. In the closest grand final in 13 years, Bobby booted four goals and even took a screamer. Hill! What a grab, looking straight into the sun. A proud Indigenous man with Noongar ancestry was the Pies match winner today. It's the Danger Man Hill. Oh, he's almost marked it over the back. Got it. Saw it right. Came back on the left. And Hill's kicked four. For Collingwood to welcome, open their arms and to welcome my family in. Um, it's unbelievable. And, and Fly to back me in and my teammates to back me in to let me play my own footy and to be happy again. It's unbelievable. Four goals, two in the grand final as well. What was your mentality coming out here today? Did you just want to absolutely let it rip and light it up? To be honest, I was watching Serioli's uh, grand final highlights. So there you go, Cyril. Thank you. Two other West Aussies had a day they'll never forget either. Darcy Cameron and Billy Frampton. And then there was the Collingwood coach. Sorry, today was already the best day of my life because my wife gave birth to a little girl this morning at 7.45. But perhaps the most touching moment came during the medal presentation. Thank you. You should be very proud. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And not long ago, the Pies were back on the MCG, two hours after the game. Adrian Barrage, 7 News. The Eagles AFLW side tasted victory for the first time in over a year after beating Port Adelaide in a thriller at Mineral Resources Park last night. Skipper Emma Swanson led from the front in her 50th game as West Coast held off a fast finishing power to win by six. Been a thrilling match and the drought is broken. West Coast break through for their first win of the season and their first in 11 matches. The Eagles now face GWS on Saturday. Well, this beautiful Coliseum is now empty. Just me and the Seagulls, the cleaners, and a lot of black and white confetti. Tim, one of the great grand finals. Well done to both teams. The Pies premiers for a 16th time. And well done to you too, Rhino. Stellar job. Thanks, mate. That is 7 News for this Saturday. I'll be back with evening updates, but for the latest news, head to 7news.com.au. Enjoy the rest of your weekend here on 7.